All right, everybody, I finessed my way up onto this roof for no reason uh, for the intro. Just to do it, I guess. Welcome back to our Thorium Bard playthrough. In the last one, you know, we made some starter stuff. We got our our starting weapons, Bard weapons. And um, yeah, you know, we got some stuff going. We got a little bit of armor, some accessories. We did some exploring around and spelunking in caves. And I made ourselves a little starter home right here. And this time, uh, I mean, we're just going to keep on going, essentially. There's no real uh, big goal for us right now. It's just to power up in general and get... Uh, I should probably take those, too. I don't know why the hell those are in there. Platforms also take all my rope, so I have it all with me. And we're probably good to go. I don't think there's anything we can really do at home with materials or anything. There's no NPC that we're really trying to attract right now either. So I think the goal is to just move across the world and also spelunk more, do some more mining and stuff and find uh, find ores, heart crystals, all that jazz. But we did make ourselves an anklet in the last episode and we found some flurry boots. So I want to see if we can actually go across the world and maybe find some stuff just, you know, on the surface and whatever, you know, look at the layout of the land and all that stuff. I could go into the Crimson, too, potentially. I could uh, drop some bombs into the, um, into the, or no, we have a Corruption in this world, actually. So I could go into the Corruption and drop some bombs on the orbs, potentially get uh, uh, nothing, really, because that doesn't really help us. But, I mean, you know, it's cool. We could get some meteorite stuff. I don't know if that would help us either, but uh, we'll see. There's a snowball chasing me. I didn't actually make the ice, um... The ice bard weapon either because there was one and I believe we have enough of the shards and we had enough of the shards But I just completely forgot about doing that So I think we will make that hopefully if I remember when we get back and uh, Yeah, we might even try to fight the king slime today potentially we have rubies for um, actually You know making the summoner which still takes rubies in pre 1.4 I'm kind of just used to it costing a crown and slime because that's what it is in 1.4 but uh, that's not what it is in this version of the game so that's not how we're, how we're going to be doing it that's a that's a rather disappointing water chest or a disappointing place for it to spawn in a single tile of water but okay that's cool i guess the breathing rate is useless um like dude can we like can we delete this item why do, why do we have this? It's it's not useful in for anything ever. Uh, why is there a sandstorm right now? That's not fun. Not fun at all. Okay, well, let's just see. It looks like that's not much of a desert. So, we're just gonna move on. Cool stuff, dude. Um, <laughs> mine up all this tin ore and keep going. Looks like there's a load of iron right there underneath the soil. I missed a piece. Are you kidding me, bro? Give me, give me that piece of iron. Thank you. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, I need to run. Oh, these things are way faster than me. <laughs> Even... No, I, I still had my coins, dude. God damn it. That's not... Not the move. It sucks that the sandstorm is happening on, like, this third day or whatever. I am not uh, doing great at the start of this episode, unfortunately. Well, um... Uh, pff, uh, what was I gonna do? Right, the ice thingy. Ice shards. We, we can make a bunch of stuff with this. We can make an armor set, which is kind of nice. It's a lot better than what we have. So I think I will actually focus on doing that. Uh, I want to make the weapon first, though. The icy piccolo. This is also material. What does this make into? Song of Ice and Fire. So that, that might actually just be another pre-hard mode item that just comes a little a little bit later. Releases a super chilled piccolo bolt. Damage briefly applies frostburn to hit enemies. And it empowers with resource maximum plus one. Uh, that is interesting. And we'll also quick stack these seeds and tokens back in here. And I kind of want to get the icy shards for the armor now. Since an extra armor bonus or just arm an armor bonus... I mean, I have a bonus. I don't know what I'm saying. A an upgrade is what I'm trying to say. And my uh, my <laughs> hot bar is stuck on torches for some reason. Nifty. All right. Well, now we got that sorted out. And my brain is all over the place, like usual. How many do we need? Four, ten, eighteen. And we have seven right now. So we need eleven of these icy shards in order to make this armor set. 
which looks to be about mid tier in terms of defense like i think i think it'll be better than um iron and not as good as tungsten or platinum or gold or whichever one i have on this world which i haven't actually seen yet uh and i think that either way uh, or in any case it uh it'll be a pretty good upgrade to what we have since if we're you rocking wood armor bro we got we got to change something here well since the our exploration of the world failed we're going to go back down into the caves and see if there's much more we can find. We have a house down here still, and I think that there is area to actually continue on going down there. So we will just go right back down to where we, we were exploring in the last episode and try to find a little bit more. There's another uh, ice room, it appears. Just swoop down and go into this. That's nice, a little loom for free for us to take. Can I please just place my torch there, dude? More flurry boots, not what I really want. Uh, at this point in time, since I already have flurry blutes, blutes, flurry blutes, holy moly, dude. Like, I don't know what it is with my brain as of just late in general, but like, I can't form words, man. I think I need like, I need brain supplements, dude. I need to be taking like superfood pills or something like, I don't know, something's got to change, bro. Whoa, dark trap. Come on, man. I saw you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, I couldn't get back through my tunnel. Jesus, come on, man. Wow. I'm just getting annihilated right now. And I didn't even, I, I couldn't even see that bad. This is, this has been a reoccurring thing recently when I play Terraria. I literally just miss everything. And I'm kind of getting annoyed by it because I thought I was a little bit better at looking at things. Uh, evidently I'm not though. I'm really bad at looking at things. And, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, what else is there to really say? What is that? Why can I make that? Interesting. Okay, well, if I ever want a web covered chest, uh, I assume I'm Sushi's mod got me covered. Yep, it got me covered, bro. Am I, am I ever gonna speak like a normal human being again? I don't know. And, uh, it's a little bit, um... A little bit terrifying and what was i gonna do where are the icy shards i was gonna make the armor 22 of them so we have enough uh let us so let's let's make this and see what it actually does full icy armor we that's a big boost in defense we go from five to oh yeah that just replaced the armor bonus to 11 what does this do icy aura surrounds enemies around you wow so it slows them down uh, a lot. Oh, there's two and there's two enemies in there. That's not very good. Okay, well that's kind of cool. That's useful. It slows enemies down. Uh, it's I mean it's more useful than did that like actually go in here? Okay, I did have the things in there. I guess we can just throw this away, since I mean it's not really a point in having it. Cloth though, what does cloth do? Is this is this green? Why are some of these green? That's kind of weird. So we have the Criers set. That's a lot of uh, cloth that you need. I can make bongos. That's with Hellstone, unfortunately. Gauze is interesting. Can I make the... Why can't I make that? So it's only... 10 is a copper bar. Oh, it's right there. I'm dumb. Okay. Well, we have a drum mallet and a euphonic... A euphonic... That's a strange word. Euphonic tambourine. Throws a single jingly tambourine. Playing empowers players with the bonus movement speed one. And then uh, the drum mallet, obviously, is the drum mallet. And it looks like it doesn't actually use um, energy to do or whatever. What the heck? That's kind of interesting, though. Where did that go? Oh, it just summoned it on top of me. Very bizarre, but uh, kind of cool. I do, I can enjoy that. And this is just like a, what do you call it? It's like a boomerang. It's a euf euphonic boomerang. Talon. I need that for the Grand Flare Gun and the Storm Flare. That's like all I need as, as long as I have the Arcane Dust as well. So it's just killing Harpies that's going to give me access to the Grand Thunderbird. So that's pretty cool. 
Uh, I guess we will actually get around to trying that, since we do have a nice desert on the opposite side of the world that I can use for the fight. As long as I can kill, like, uh, how many more? It was two, and then one. So three more harpies, and I have the materials that I need in order to fight this boss. So I think we will we'll give it a shot, you know, uh, after we explore, hopefully, the rest of this side of the world, and then uh, go for a little more resource collection. We'll, we'll see how, how that goes. All right, well, we made it to the ocean. There's There was nothing really special um, <laughs> across, like, that entire side of the world, pretty much. It was just a snow biome, and then the dungeon, and then a bunch of purity, a bunch of desert, and now the ocean. I don't know if we're going to need seashells for anything. Um, well, not seashells. I don't think we actually do need seashells for anything. I mean, the jellyfish resonator, I guess. And this is a bard weapon that took <laughs> i couldn't find the word um this doesn't look that bad we could grab all the materials for this right now so that's cool we're gonna be able to grab ourselves a new bard weapon so we'll grab all the starfish and stuff does starfish do anything because that's not part of the recipe hold on are starfish used for anything another bard weapon okay interesting so we uh i don't know apparently bards really just enjoy using um remnants of ocean life for their their items cool uh do we have a guide right now do, do we have a guide and a merchant is that what we have right now yeah we do okay so this guy's gonna have to end up staying over here for a while uh which is you know that that's fine i'm almost to whoa dude yikes let me save him first jeez i don't think i'm ever gonna use him because fishing is mostly inconsequential in um <laughs> modded playthroughs where you have potion uh sellers and all that stuff the only reason to do it would be to potentially get i guess weapons later on not weapons to get uh like bars later on like in hard mode from like wooden chests and stuff and all that jazz there's a demon altar down here what the fuck dude i actually don't act have the room for most of this stuff too which kind of sucks coral I need seashells and starfish and wood, I believe, for these weapons. Seahorse wand. I can make a bunch of stuff out of coral. What the heck? Coral pickaxe. Mining sand may occasionally dig up extra sand. Wow, what a helpful ability. There's a bunch of stuff you can make with all this. So we have a seashell casta castanets what else did i need i needed starfish for the ukulele right at an anvil one starfish and eight pieces of wood am i blind do i need i need the palm wood god damn it i didn't even see that i just like i, I just came to that conclusion and i'm like oh that makes sense you know beach um what do you call it uh the materials of course it would be palm wood Crude bent. There's some throwing weapons that you can get from this guy, which is kind of cool. I don't have the money to buy anything else because I keep dying like a moron. I should have just recalled. I don't know why I didn't. I'm actually stupid, dude. Uh, I guess we'll arrange in power like this. These might actually be better, though. What does this do? What? Okay, what? Holds a pair of castanets in front of you that release a damaging vibration. Holding them longer increases its damage and knockback. Playing empowers players with a bonus aquatic ability one. This has a very interesting sound. Huh. Okay. So this is kind of cool. I'm going to go back and try to get into that cave. There's no zombies or demonized or anything stopping me either, which is kind of uh, suspicious. Where the hell did all the mobs go, dude? Where are all the monsters? Come on, Terraria. What, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Have you lost your touch? It's like I'm talking to, like, some some, some, some dude. I'm an idiot. All right. Well, I'll meet you guys back down in the caves, and we'll see if we can find a little bit more, uh, mostly just health. Health is what I'm looking for right now. See, see if we can find some more health to uh, help me along in uh, fighting this boss, hopefully. So I guess we'll just use bombs to... Why are you here? Can you get up? Oh, my God. All right, found our way back, and I guess this actually did show up, and I must have died or something down here. Does this area actually go anywhere? I'm not trying to do that. Come on. So it's going to go down there. I don't think it's actually going to end up in anywhere that I actually want to go. So that's good. Could you fuck off? Jeez, dude. This is a jellyfish necklace, which I probably should grab. 
All right, and all that water got siphoned down, so that's cool. I may as well uh, put this on, use the life crystal. So all I needed to do to get some extra life was to go this way, apparently. Uh, the other way was not, it was not the way. Emeralds are cool. It's the fifth type of gem I found. I would have liked to have found even like, you know, five piles of topaz at this point. I could have actually gotten uh, a hook by now. Life crystal. Got it. We're up to 200 life now, so that is good. It's a significant uh, upgrade. What is this? I can't mine this, right? I can mine this. Life quartz. I remember life quartz. Oh, there's an underwater house down there, too. That's... Why are you down here? Okay. That's bizarre. <laughs> okay, well, that the, these guys are just chilling down here, I guess. Oh, there's actually a platform right there. I'm, like, trying to jump over this, like, chasm that I see. Gonna be using our, uh, castanets since we can just sit above them. Snowball cannon is cool. It's a decent early game item, although it's not very helpful for me. Because, I mean, you know, I mean, like, what, what, what am I gonna use that for, bro? I'm a bard. Okay, that's not what I want. I'm not ready for the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, I'm quite well aware of that. Let me take a look. Uh, life quartz. I need 10 of it to make a life crystal. That's pretty good. And then there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do with it. But this looks like some of it at least is hard mode. Two of those things are hard mode. Looks like the only things that I actually care about are hard mode, which are the bard items. Looks like some of the healer items are probably more like, um, yeah, like that, that, that's just, um, that's pretty hard mode, but that's gold. Cool. But uh, I don't care about any of that. I care about the bard items, and the bard items are in hard mode, so we don't care about them. Uh, for the moment, at least. Let's see, what's in here? Uh, ice skates are good. I got a lot of good stuff in here. I need to make, I need to make, I need to get a second piggy bank. Um, shit, I'm gonna have to throw away a bunch of stuff. Uh, that, we can throw away these. I don't really need these, like, blocks at the moment, at least, and they're really easy to get. All these ones that I'm throwing away, so... Shall be fine. I'll grab the ice chest. I didn't actually get the ice machine, so get that. Now grab the ice chest. Gonna whoa, like leave the statues and stuff here. And there was uh, what was what, what else? Oh, there's rubies down here. Yeah. So I do want to grab those too, since I mean, good gems are good gems, and I could potentially make a better hook and whatever else I can use rubies for with rubies. Okay, and I'll just go back right now. Is that how those usually look? That's a bookcase, right? That looks different. Okay. Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Oh, no. Uh, we're gonna die. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, that happened, and unsurprisingly, we got wrecked. Um, because <laughs> we have no arena of any sort to speak of whatsoever. All right, let's make some heart crystals first. First thing. Heart crystals, boy. There we go. And now, I mean, I guess I'll put this in here since it is kind of an ore. And, uh, I mean, we'll just put everything else into the, the chest. Why is slime falling from the sky now? I don't want to fight the Slime King either, honestly. I wanted to fight the Grand Thunderbird. Um, okay, well, we'll see if we can get a King Slime fight, I guess. All right, let's take a, uh, oh, wait, hold on. No, I have the, the Amethysts, right? How many Amethysts do I have? 16, so I can make a hook with these. Where is the Amethyst hook? I'm pretty sure Amethyst is worst or second worst of the hooks. So, you know, it's not great, but it is better than um, not having a hook by like a billion percent, probably. I guess we can just like, you know, make the side of, or yeah, make this like lip of our house into part of the arena. And I, we can just put it, we can just get it over the trees like this. It's not much of an arena. It's literally just a platform. But I think it's all that we'll really need for King Slime. If I'm not being an utter doofus, it should be doable like this. And I'll do it to the other side as well. Since we can't, I mean, I guess we could do it through the tree, but uh, we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to remove the trees, aren't we? Because they are kind of blocking the way. Yeah. Okay, oh well. Uh, well, we'll get to that and, you know, do whatever with what we have right here, I guess. Bohemus, the traveling merchant. You have anything for me, bro? Dynasty, what I know is used for something uh, related to symphonic uh, stuff. And did I just drop that? Come on, man. Don't be like that. These slimes falling from the sky, bro. What is this thing? 
Note hairpin. Okay, so it's nothing really. I know this, this, this uses a lot of money, but uh, I'm gonna grab all this. Grab some more Dynasty Wood too. Use all my money on Dynasty Wood. I don't give a shit. Uh, ooh, I could have grabbed a stopwatch. Uh, I don't know. Don't think I even have had enough though. So it's whatever. I kind of prefer the Dynasty Wood anyways. At this point, like I'll, I'll be able to get a stopwatch at some point. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm pretty sure I can just make a stopwatch too. So it is literally just like whatever. Oh, there he is. Well, I'll put on the, the, the couple of buffs that I do have. Uh, and, you know, he's, he's about to teleport on my head, I think. We'll see, though. He is now here, though. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I assume very badly. But, uh, who knows? Okay, he showed up down there. The problem is all the slimes that are on the, uh, the bridge right now. I need to get, get rid of some of those. But, like, they just keep falling, I think, because the slime rain is technically still happening. Uh, which is a problem for this fight, clearly. I still have not gotten hit, though. So, uh, we are doing not the worst ever. Okay, yeah, all these slimes being here are a serious issue, though. Unfortunately, the Traveling Merchant has, uh, has, has now left us. Chuck's mate. Okay, I did dodge its hit there. The slimes themselves only do, like, one damage, which is kind of weird. But, uh, I mean, I'm not mad about that. Whoa, dude. I guess we'll just keep running and, you know, not doing that. Not getting stuck in a fucking hole. That's so dumb. Wow, I cannot believe that is what actually killed me. Jeez, I missed the, the goddamn hook, too. Well, I didn't want that to happen. But, of course, King Slime just decides to spawn in precisely after the Eye of Cthulhu does. If I had max HP, that might have been doable, but with how I currently am, that is not the case. Um, and we are going to end it right there, since I mean I think we made a decent amount of progress, right? We got some we got some more exploring done. We got health, so that we're actually you know we can actually uh, hold our own. And um, yeah, we got some we got a couple new weapons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think we're basically good to go. Man, the slime rain is still going. I didn't. I don't even remember this. This being how slime rain works, but uh, this is in fact uh, apparently how slime rain works. Uh, I wanted to kill the Thunderbird or attempt at least the Grand Thunderbird uh, boss, but that did not end up being done because the slime rain decided to intervene and the Igathulu. But that's gonna be all for uh, today's episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, next time, bosses and hopefully more upgrades. And yep, that's going to be all for this one, and I'll see you in the next video.